Now, we are going to discuss about sexual reproduction and you have studied about sexual reproduction in your lower classes. You learnt how the process of sexual reproduction takes place in plants as well as in animals. In this chapter, we are going to study about this sexual reproduction in various organisms in detail. So we know that just recall the process of uh, sexual reproduction it happens by the fusion of male and female gametes. Gametes are the reproductive cells. So male plus female gamete it gives rise to zygote and the process of fusion of male gamete and female gamete is called as fertilization. So this fertilization is again of two types. We know that internal and external. Internal fertilization, external fertilization. What is internal fertilization? If the fertilization, the fusion of the gametes takes place inside the body of the female organism, you call it as internal fertilization. The male gametes are produced into the female body. Female gametes are produced in the female body and these two gametes are fused in the female body and fertilization takes place. We call it as internal fertilization. Example, mammals, birds, fishes, sorry fishes we see external fertilization, mammals, birds, reptiles. So here we see this kind of uh, internal fertilization in mammals including humans birds, reptiles, external fertilization, fertilization which takes place outside their bodies in the environment, aquatic organisms like fishes and frogs, fertilization takes place outside their body. So fishes and frogs, the female animal lay large number of female gametes, those are the egg cells into the water. Then the male organism releases sperm cells in large number into the water. So in the water the male gamete fuses with the female gamete and fertilization takes place. So we call it as external fertilization which takes place outside their bodies. So now let us look at the reproduction in a placental mammal. Humans or placental mammals. So here they have male and female organisms they have special well developed reproductive systems for the process of sexual reproduction. So first we are going to discuss about male reproductive system. Male reproductive system. So the male reproductive system has got distinct parts which help in the process of reproduction that is in the production of male gamete. Now let us look at the features of male reproductive system. So the male reproductive system is close associated with the urinary bladder. So here we can see the major organs of the male reproductive system. In male reproductive, uh, reproductive system the two main organs are testis, a pair of testis. So left and right a pair of testis are present outside the body and they are hanging in a pocket like structure called as scrotal sac. I write it here, scrotal sac or scrotum. So in the pocket like structure we find these testes. The testis is connected to a tube like uh, structure which leads to the uh, into the penis. So this tube is connected to the urethra. So the urethra is a common passage of male gametes that is the semen and urine. So that excretory material as well as the reproductive material both are passed through the common duct that is the urethra. This is the common duct. So let, let us see the testis. Testis are responsible for the production of male gametes. Each testis it consists of so many tiny coiled thread like structures called as seminiferous tubules. in which sperm cells are formed. Sperms are formed in the seminiferous tubules. 
So from the seminiferous tubules, the sperms are sperm cells are collected by vas afferentia. So the vas afferentia, they form all the vas afferentia. They form a structure called as epididymis. Epididymis. So these seminiferous tubules are very thin, coiled, very long, up to eighty centimeters length. Coiled tubules in which the sperm cells are produced and they are collected by vas afferentia. And this vas afferentia it forms the epididymis part of the testis. So once these are formed, the formed sperm cells are collected by vas deferens. So this vas deferens it collects these sperm cells and it sends the sperm cells to the other part, that is to the urethra. The sperm cells. How are the sperm cells? The sperm cells are motile. They have a headpiece, middle piece, and a flagellated uh, tail. So by that, which can uh, move, it moves. So such kind of sperm cells are produced and taken here. So at this junction, we find certain glands, accessory glands. Here we find a pair of uh, seminal vesicles. and a seminal duct so through which semen is secreted so semen is a sticky jelly like fluid which will nourish the sperm cells because the sperm cells are to be nourished they have to travel a long way into the female reproductive system and it needs sometimes it needs some 48 hours or they can live, they have to live up to 72 hours in the female reproductive system till they reach the egg cell so the nourishment is provided by this fluid semen so the semen is secreted by the seminal vesicles and it is uh, passed through the seminal duct into this common chamber so here the sperm cells are mixed up with the semen and here we have some accessory glands accessory glands what are the accessory glands here one prostrate and two Cowper's glands, one prostate gland and Cowper's gland, these are the accessory glands that are found here at this region. So that the male reproductive cells gametes with the semen, they are passed into the urethra through which they are expelled out of the body. So that the testes are the major organs responsible for the production of male cells, not only that, we already studied that testes or uh, part, uh, acts like endocrine glands as they produce a hormone called as testosterone. This testosterone it helps in the development of secondary sexual characters like development of beard, moustache, uh, hair in the underarms, change of voice in boys at an age of some 14 to 15 in the adolescent age. So whatever the various physical changes that happens in the body of an ad adolescent these are all caused by the testosterone hormone which is secreted by the testis. So the testis, they secrete hormone called testosterone which helps for the process of reproduction by bringing the secondary sexual characters in males at the same time for the complete development of the reproductive organs and uh, for the production of male reproductive cells. So testis are the major reproductive organs in males. Now let us look at the female reproductive system and various parts and their contribution for the process of reproduction.